off. Big stretch. There we go. Now he's going towards where Shongila is. Look how he's stalking towards her. I wonder if they're going to have a little bit of a playing session now. See, look at his focus. Look how he's watching. Still a bit of youthful exuberance in amongst these two. There he goes, around the bush. Lying flat. <laughs> You're being naughty, little one. <laughs> these two are awesome together. I forgot how much I miss seeing the two of them as adult, well, as youngsters playing around and moving around together. Certainly going to try and see if I can't just squeeze Rusty through here. Now, Rusty, you need to just be make yourself look skinny. Deep breath, Rusty. Okay, just careful. Seb on both sides, sharp thorns. Oh, been impaled by a knob thorn this week as well. Now let's make sure that my earpiece cable is not going to get ripped. So let's get rid of that quickly. So we're just stuck on a few thorns at the moment. So I'm just trying to get myself undone at this stage. We're almost done there. We're good. Okay. Now Rusty doesn't want to move over the branch. Come on, Rusty. Ugh. So I believe that's on. Okay, we should be able to get through. There we go. Sorry, Seb. We managed to just squeeze through. So now that we're through on this side, we'll be able to see the two of them. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we're through now. Now you can just see Hosanna stopped. I thought he was going to come out a little bit more, but he stayed where he is. There's Shungila and Hosanna's just on the left hand side. There we go. Hopefully they are going to move together. So there's Hosanna just behind the tree at the moment. Come lie with your sister. We want to see the two of you together. You can see though, as soon as she moved, he moved as well. So that's the situation is typical with males. Often when the females move, the males will follow. Even as they get older in life, it will be the same situation. If they're together, you'll find that as soon as a female makes a move, a male decides to follow with them. Now I can hear some squirrels alarm calling in the distance. I wonder if it's not beyond the realms of possibility. And both of them have been looking in that area at those squirrels. I wonder if we won't see another leopard arrive here. It would be intriguing to see where Tandy went this morning. I know she was left going north of the dam and so it's possible she could also be in this general vicinity and with the sort of movement of everybody through the bushes and the trees that might cause her to come and investigate what's going on. You can see they're very alert as to what's going on. Hassan is also looking around a little bit and like I say, I'm just hoping he comes out a little further than where he is now and we'll get a much better view of him. Look how she's watching. So she's listening to those squirrels that are alarm calling as well. Deadhead Tom, you're wondering if I get the feeling that Shongila and Hosanna don't like to be alone. Um, I think so. I think they're young individuals and, and they... You know, they don't, I don't know if they know what's happened to their mother. Their mother's just obviously disappeared. And so for them, it's a situation where they might crave the sort of companionship of an older leopard. And that's why we keep seeing them with so many different older leopards. You know, we've seen them, like I say, with Tandy and even with Tumblr to a degree. He's not older, but it's another leopard. So it might be that. Um, they also seem to spend a lot of time around each other. Um, I've heard on Little Gauri that they seem to be, the tracks go there a lot, and so I would imagine they spend time together. So yeah, I think they're still not completely territorially dominant, and so that means that they still crave each other's company. They're still young at the end of the day, and neither of them are even, you know, they're a year and a half old at this stage, which means that time is still on their side, and they still kind of have that youthful exuberance. What are you doing, Shungile? 
almost like burrowing herself into the ground there. So you see something that she likes that she's rolling on. You often find this when there's something like a piece of dead skin or a carcass or a skull. They sometimes do this. So there might be something there that she smelt that she likes to roll in. Could be a bit of dung as well. You sometimes find they'll do that in buffalo dung or elephant dung. Mostly buffalo more than anything else. But they do sometimes do it on other animals as well. Cat, you're wondering if it's normal to lose so many leopards lately? Well, Cat, a number of the leopards... Okay, so we know Karula just vanished. We don't have any idea what happened to her. It could have been predation. It could be anything. We have just no idea at all. She just disappeared during a time when it was quite wet, and so her tracks could have gone somewhere. She could have theoretically been preyed upon by another predator, and that could have caused her to go. But to me, we don't know. She w He was unfortunately died on an area where they decided not to do an autopsy as far as I know so we don't have any idea of what happened to him but the rest of the leopards that have been dying in Londolozi and Mala Mala most of them have been have succumbed to lions so it's a high number of lions after a drought year more lions means the prides are bigger stronger and therefore they're getting hold of some of the leopards it's often the case when lion numbers increase that the numbers of other cats like leopard, cheetah even wild dogs will start to decline a little bit as the lion numbers get more so a number of those deaths have been that and with Salahesh we just don't know Salahesh we will get an answer at some point it just depends on what the the tests are and what the lab results are and varying other things like that so we will find out and we'll we'll be able to work out what's going on so also just remember that a lot of besides for Tumi most of the the leopards that have unfortunately died in the Sabi sands over the last period have all been older leopards so they might not be ancient and they might not be right at the end of their life but they all are on the older side of the spectrum so you know Karula, Salesh, both 12 years old you had um, Kika Lezi female I think she was close to the same age 13 somewhere there maybe even older so airstrip male these are all males that, that are or leopards that are on that older spectrum of life and so these there's things that do happen it's just a phase that is unfortunately happening and it seems as though they all pack very close together but it is how sometimes it happens you just do get these runs where older individuals do end up dying so it's it's not an ideal situation but it's certainly I don't think there's anything sinister afoot and it's not like our leopards a lot of them have just died from mysterious causes there's obviously just the mystery surrounding Karula because she disappeared and we don't know what happened to her but to me, for what we know, is was something to do with the natural death. We're not sure, but he was an autopsy. Then Salesh will get an answer as to what happened to her. So, at the end of the day, it's 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 not anything untoward happening. They most certainly none of them have been poached, none of them have been shot at or anything like that. And there's been no sign of poisoning of water holes or carcasses, as some people have been speculating, because. Like I say, if that was the case, you would find a number of other animals that would also be dead. If it was carcasses and things, you would find birds of prey, you would find scavengers like hyenas, you would also find, if it was water holes, a number of different animals that might be dying. So it's not really a sort of conspiracy theory or anything in it. It's just that it's just a phase, unfortunately, where we've had a multiple number at once. And it sometimes happens with the lions when you get a male takeover you get a number of different lions that that pass away or you get years of wet weather where the lions don't do as well their cubs are not as successful or, and there's a number of factors that are involved but it certainly is not ideal that's for sure but it's not something that we need to sort of theorize about just yet until we know the facts we can't, we can't really jump to conclusions as to what's actually happened Aaron, you want to know how often leopards die from choking on something they're eating? Aaron, I honestly have no idea. I've never heard of a leopard dying from choking. I would imagine that they can regurgitate and try and cough it out. But it, I was, maybe it's happened, but I certainly have never heard of it. And certainly haven't, in my experience, heard of any animal in the <laughs> inside the Sabi Sands area choking from something that it's eaten. So i don't know to be honest I, I suppose it is possible but i would be very surprised if it if it has happened